This video was sponsored by oddbeachexpress.com. Oddbeach Express Stock Media by subscription is a new site that offers high quality broadcast resolution stock media content. Their content includes stock footages up to 5K resolution, music, sound effects, images, and After Effects templates. Sign up today for a free account at oddbeachexpress.com and receive 19 free pre selected stock media downloads. No credit cards, payments, or obligations required. Create your free account today. Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to my After Effects tutorial. In this episode, I'm going to show you how did I create my animated font Evolve in After Effects and Illustrator. So what you see me do right now is I'm trying to separate out the different parts in the alphabets onto their different layers. The reason I'm doing this is because this is going to make my life super simple when I take all of this for animation into After Effects. So as you can see, my layers panel is being flooded with different layers and this is because every single alphabet on the screen is having their own own 2-3 level part division. Now this is going to cause us to have a lot of layers but this is going to give us a proper production quality. I'm using the pathfinder tool and the pen tool for creating these shapes but you can use any other tools that you want to use. Now once the cutting is done I found out that it would be a lot better if I was to do the organization of all these different layers right now in illustrator and then take it to After Effects. So what I did was I started copy pasting the full group set or basically the full set of alphabets onto their own own individual artboards or compositions. So this way when I take individual files to After Effects, they are really easy to manage and my animation and of course my full workflow can be a lot better. Now once you're done with all the copy pasting and saving individual files, you can bring all of them into After Effects and we can finally start the animation process. Now I found out that the write on effect and the Vegas effect, I tried those effects but since I wanted to give my viewers and my audience the 4K capability, I created these things very big right, 1000 by 1000. So those effects weren't gonna cut it. I found out that in my case, the linear wipe effect and the radial wipe effect were working Perfectly. In some cases, I had to manually animate them and do the frame by frame animation, but most of the times they were getting the work done and they were working beautifully. I even found out that if you were to change the angle in the linear wipe and in the radial wipe, you're gonna get some really nice effects, and we tried to incorporate those effects into uh, the template. Now once the animation was done, I knew that I had to add some easy ease but even after that the animation was looking a little plain. So what I did was I decided to add multiple layers of animation and we could use the fill effect for changing the color. So I just basically created one animation, I duplicated it and I gave it a delay of maybe 5 or 10 frames depending on what alphabet I was working with. That was creating that perfect 2-3 layer animation and since we are controlling the color with the fill, I created a color controller in all the main compositions. Now of course motion graphics also awesome people cannot be completed without side elements. Uh, for creating side elements in this project, I used the pen tool in After Effects for creating a boundary effect around the alphabet. So as you can see, most of the times I was working with linear shapes but sometimes in, in the case of C, G, those kind of alphabets, I had to create the curvature and in order to animate the stroke, I used the trim path option in After Effects for animating the stroke and that is how I was able to create the full template. I did this for all the different uh, alphabets and all the different layers and this project took me four days to complete. So uh, you know 1000 keyframes of animation, four days or 30-32 hours of recording and that equals to evolve. So thank you for watching, my name is CJ Style and I will see you all next time. Take care everyone.